Hello, I'm still not Cory, and I still have a black face. <laughs> so I saw a TikTok the other day, and it wound me up a little bit. It really ground my gears. It got my goat. It it bothered me to some extent. So I'm gonna watch it today and see what you think about it. <laughs> but first, let's check out my merch. I've got Stupid Baby. He is new. He's cute. He's for you. You should definitely check out some Stupid Baby t-shirts. They are very good prices, if I do say so myself, and very comfortable, very nice. We also have unicorn beanies, which are subtle pride beanies. There's a little pastel rainbow in there if you want to flaunt it without flaunting it too much. It'd be awesome if you could check those out, but there's also a ton of other stuff over on Normal Citizen, so check all of that out too. Get yourself something nice. Treat yourself. Also, like and subscribe and ring the notification bell as well, please please. It's very helpful to me and the channel. And also leave a comment and let me know what you think of blackface before and after this video. Or just before. Or just after. Just leave a comment. That'd be nice. Let's start the video. This has music in it that I can't use. So here is me talking over the TikTok so that you can hear something instead of the music. I'm not enjoying it. Ooh, I'm saying. Okay. And this is where this is where we get to the point. The end of the TikTok which made me want to make this video because it is interesting to me that Robert Downey Jr is included there, right? Because all those other instances are not good. They are very bad. But this one of Robert Downey Jr is a little bit more complicated. So let me explain. If you've not seen Tropic Thunder, the whole reason that Robert Downey Jr is in blackface is because he's portraying an actor who is Australian but undergoes cosmetic surgery basically just as blackface to play the role of a black man, which is heavily, heavily criticized throughout the film. And my problem with this TikTok is that it completely ignores the message of that film, which is blackface bad. There is no one in that film that thinks that blackface is good that you are supposed to agree with, right? You are not supposed to agree with the use of blackface in that film. And that really bothered me. This TikTok is far less useful than I think it intends to be because it completely removes context and nuance from those situations. Now you may think that blackface is bad outright. No one should ever do it ever. I disagree. I've made a video on this before. I have not rewatched it. I don't know how much I agree with that video now. I don't agree that blackface can never be used effectively. I do agree that it is a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it is in itself inherently funny. I don't think it's funny to see Robert Downey Jr. in blackface on its own, with the added context, I think it is a very good joke. So, let me explain. When it comes to comedy, I feel like you could make jokes about more or less anything so long as the joke is funny, but that is subjective. And I think another qualifier I'd put on it as well is that I, I don't think the joke in itself should be promoting something that is racist or sexist or homophobic, any of those things. Like, I, I, I disagree with that. Because I disagree with racism in general, I also disagree with jokes that are themselves racist. Now, there is a difference between a joke that is racist and the joke that includes racism or race. And it is a subtle difference, but you've got to actually look at the joke and see what it is saying. So for example, right, with those other instances of blackface, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure they were all making black people the butt of the joke, right? The, the joke is that this person is in blackface. The joke is that they are impersonating a black person. The joke is the character that they are portraying, right? The, the character itself is a joke as a black person. Not a white person portraying a black person, the black person is the joke. Robert Downey Jr's character is set quite far apart from that because the butt of the joke in the case of Tropic Thunder is not black people as a whole. It's not the black character because the black character doesn't exist. The character is a white man in blackface. It is making a great comment on the industry, right? Like using blackface to do that in the same way that It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia has used blackface, I think rather effectively to, you know, elicit a laugh, but also make a deeper message. And that is the key point. The message of those instances of blackface is that blackface is bad and you shouldn't do it. And I get that it seems kind of contradictory to do something in service of the point that that thing itself is bad, but I think there is quite a subtle difference. Because when we look at blackface and think about why it is bad, it is not just because someone is making their skin darker. That in of itself is totally fine. Like, for example, Chang in Community going as a dark elf or a black elf that's not racist and it's not blackface. He just painted his skin black. If you dress as Peter Pan's shadow and have your entire body painted in black paint, that is not racist. So why is blackface racist? And also let's look at say white chicks. Why is whiteface not racist? Why is it not racist to make your skin lighter? Some of you may say it is 
you're wrong, and I'll tell you why. The reason that blackface is bad is because it draws on a history of mocking, demeaning, undermining, and just making entertainment out of black people. There is a long, long history of blackface, and the joke was always, Haha, ha, look at these funny black people. Look at how uncultured, uneducated, how stupid they are. They don't know any better. Ha ha ha. But that is the joke. That is what the joke is. The joke is black people bad. So that is why blackface is bad because it draws on that history. You're also almost sanitizing it, making it out as though it's just a funny joke. It's all in good fun and it's not harmful in any way. When it really is, you are almost condoning that history of blackface if you do blackface. And for me, that means that there are instances of the use of blackface to be acceptable in comedy when it's in service of the point that blackface is bad. Now, to be fair, when you've not done this well, you've done blackface and people can absolutely criticize you for it. So I wouldn't go out there and recommend that just anyone does it. I'd really recommend that you stay away from doing it because it is so easy to mess up. I just think that the instances of It's Always Sunny and Robert Denny Jr. in Tropic Thunder aren't instances of people messing up. I think they're pretty damn solid. And it doesn't really personally offend me because the intent and with context, the outcome are both fairly positive. Like you can't watch Tropic Thunder and think blackface good, blackface funny. It is made clear throughout the film that what that character is doing is wrong. He is criticized for it by a black character in the film. It is not just wouldn't it be funny if we put Robert Downey Jr. in blackface? It is, let's put Robert Downey Jr. in blackface to show how ridiculous this industry is. And I think it does a good job of that. This person also made another TikTok, so let's watch that. Talking again, because the music is gonna be copyrighted, but this is the music, it's Andrew Garfield singing Tick Tick Boom. Just pretend you're listening to it instead of listening to my voice. Okay, here we go to me talking again. And it's really interesting that at the end of both of those TikToks, there is just an instance of blackface that I don't think is comparable to the others. Like Shane Dawson made a career out of making fun of black people. That is not the same as what Bill Hader has done there. Like the joke in the SNL sketch that Bill Hader is in is that Al Pacino is doing blackface because they are making a comment on one, Hollywood starts doing blackface. And two, they're drawing on Al Pacino apparently using racist stereotypes when portraying a Cuban character in a film. There is a point to this joke in the same sense that there is a point to all comedy and the point is not to glorify blackface, it is to denigrate and make fun of it as a concept. This I think is an issue in the way that people engage with media wherein they see a thing and they think thing bad without actually looking into what it is trying to say because it agrees with you. It agrees that blackface is bad. And to be honest, I think that sharing images of people doing blackface without context is just, unhelpful. When was it? Did they apologize? Why were they doing it? How often did they do it? Was it a regular thing or a one-time thing? What have they done since then for the black community? That is so, so annoying because all it does is just make people think, oh man, Bill Hader bad. Oh, Sarah Silverman bad. You can look in and see, have these people apologized for that? Why were they doing it? Like, what was the point? Like, it, were they making fun of black people? Was it an inherently racist joke? Or were they attempting to make a comment about blackface in and of itself? Like, those are two very, very different things. There is a difference between someone who does blackface because they think it's funny, like Shane Dawson, or probably Steven Crowder, and someone who does it to make a comment about like, this thing is bad and I want to make an edgy joke. Those are two very different kinds of people and just lumping them all together is just so unhelpful. This complete lack of nuance is so frustrating to me. And don't get me wrong, I think that blackface is bad. Like overall, yes, I think it's bad. These are just a couple instances of me thinking that it's fine. Most things I absolutely condemn. Come fly with me? I hate that. It is disgusting. Chris Lilly's stuff? Horrible. I don't like blackface in general. There are so, so many instances of it that I think are just awful, but there are like three that I think are actually kind of useful or actually kind of funny because the joke isn't black people. The joke is people that do blackface. Like that is so, so frustrating to me that people are just gonna make TikToks and lump these people all together because it doesn't help. All it does is you see people in the comments being like, oh man, I didn't know that this celebrity did that. I'm gonna cancel them. And if you think that blackface is entirely unacceptable in all instances, then fine. I mostly agree with you. As I said, I have just like three examples of it where I'm like, this doesn't actually bother or offend me all that much. All of those are from like maybe a decade ago or maybe just a bit less. And another important thing in regards to the context is when it happened, because realistically, 10, 15, 20 years ago, blackface was a little bit more acceptable. Like, don't get me wrong, it was 
unacceptable still. It was not a good thing morally. What I'm saying is that society kind of accepted it a little bit more than they do now. You had shows like Come Fly With Me airing on TV where these very famous British celebrities were just doing blackface. That was the joke. You know, not, oh, funny, like they're doing blackface. Like they were doing blackface and the joke was the black character that they were portraying. And that was fine. Nobody really batted an eye. Like that show ran for a good bit and was very well received. That was the world that we were living in. So back then when it was just a little bit more socially acceptable and bear in mind, no less harmful, just a little bit more socially acceptable, there were going to be people who thought, hey, I can use this to make a good point. And so they did. And that's why those instances are all from like, as I've said, like, 10, 15 years ago, right? Like, because it was a different time back then. And I feel like this is the issue, right? On TikTok, you've got people who were children then or weren't alive then, people that don't really understand the context of the time that it was in. And that's also a reason I don't think we should completely cut off celebrities who have done it in the past if they are better now. And that goes for basically everything. I don't think that if you were racist in the past or like homophobic or sexist in the past, that it means that you can't be not that now. And to be honest, I think that forgiving people when they grow and change and become better people is actually a good thing. I think that just because someone has done something bad in the past, it doesn't mean that you need to bring it up now if there is no pattern of it. Like, if someone has a pattern of racism now and they are doing blackface in the past, absolutely bring it up. Or say if someone did blackface in the past and then they've never mentioned it again and they've never mentioned anything about the black community at all, then sure, you can bring it up then. But just like, man, just like bringing up pictures of celebrities that have done blackface with no context is so, so unhelpful. So unhelpful. So that's the video then, I guess, to conclude. Blackface is bad, except for those like two or three times where I thought it was kind of useful and funny. Um, please don't get very mad at me in the comments. I, I can't, I can't be bothered. I also wanna say that this isn't an endorsement of blackface. As I've said a number of times throughout this video, I think it is bad. I think it is overall bad. You shouldn't do it. This is not an endorsement or an encouragement. Just, just some thoughts I had about very unnuanced TikToks that I decided to make a YouTube video about. Deary me. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching the video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Please be nice. Please be nice and civil. Um, unless someone's a racist, in which case I don't care what you say to them. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't say that. I can't say that. Be nice, but like, you know, you could be spicy to the racists. Uh, like the videos, join my Patreon, leave money on my PayPal at paypal.me slash notcory if you only want to do a one-time donation. I think that's more or less it. Please subscribe and goodbye.